Okay guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to get out of the map and back down into caves. Now, I do the way I'm going to do this is going to require you to take both your wristbands off your controller like this. You can keep the left one on or right one if you want, but I recommend taking that one off too. So once you got those off, just hold your controllers without the wristbands on. I know it seems a bit risky, but you're going to need it. So once you have them off, you're not ready to go. So before we get down into the beach map, I just want to uh, tell you guys that you should be able to identify the forest sounds. Either it's the crickets at night like it is now, or it's raining, or it's, you know, the music or whatever. But if you still hear, you know, the forest map, you know, f through most of the entire time, then you've done the glitch successfully. So just make sure that you guys know and it can identify the forest map. So first things first, we're going to make our way down here into the secret tunnel. Okay, moving away from the forest. And so we're going to come in here and let's try to stick to this side of the tunnel all the way through. So let's come down here and just stick to the side, okay? Just go down these two stairs, and stick down to the side, okay? Now we are hit with two pathways. You can either go up this way or through the water. You want to go through the water because if you go up there, you can hear that I can still hear the crickets of forest, but when I come up here, I now hear running water. So when you hear the running water, it means that the beach map is loaded in and the glitch, the glitch hasn't worked. So if I step back over here into the tunnel again, I can hear forest. So make sure you can always hear those crickets. So again, we're going to be hit here. Don't go up there. Only focus on the water. So what I do is I just hop into the water. I don't touch any of the walls. And I swim relatively slowly to a corner, which I'll show you in a second. So let's just hop into the water, pull our way over here, and we're gonna find this big open area. Avoid going anywhere over there. And just focus on this corner right here, almost underneath that crystal. But this kind of little shaft here, that's what we're gonna be wall climbing on. So like I said, you need to make sure that you know how to wall climb. So once you get to this spot, just simply wall climb up, get on to the crystal. I'm gonna do that again a bit more slowly. I come up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just make sure you land on this crystal. So if you've landed on this crystal and you still hear forest, the crickets, then that means that you've done it right. So the next step we're gonna do is so we're going to go from here and we're going to hop down onto this crystal just from there to here and then this is one of the most tricky parts of the whole thing but we're going to hit our arm off of that corner onto that corner and then kind of wall climb in there and then we're going to pinch that corner of the wall there and then we're going to from there jump onto the rope and it's a tough angle to jump onto the rope because you're kind of going to be hugging it and you're going to have to push yourself forward you can push yourself onto the back wall and just wall climb up if that's what you feel to need. But for beginners, it's better to ju just jump on the rope. So just watch this slowly. Feel free to slow down the video to see how I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have my hands like this. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. And now we're over here I'm in this corner. It's a bit hard to see, but you can see the water down there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over here and pinch this corner, okay? And now we're right on the edge. Make sure not to fall down because then beach will load in. So now what we need to do is just angle a jump right at the rope. That was a bit of a bad jump, but we're going to jump from that corner onto here. Again, we came from there. We wall climbed on that wall. Jumped onto the crystals, jumped over there, wall climbed there, and then hit this corner, and then jumped onto the rope. 
So if you made it on the rope and you still hear the forest, that means you've done it successfully. Now just simply climb up here. You can do it slowly or fast, doesn't matter. Or you do what I do, which is I just hit the walls and come up here. So you should still be able to hear forest if you've done it correctly. And the most notable thing, you should be able to just walk out here and there's nothing. Absolutely nothing here. Okay. Another testament that you know you've done it. This forest is still right there, completely loaded in. You can see the whole shaft there. So now you can, this is the first real step glitch kind of thing. You can just jump through walls if you want. You'll go up here to the roof and just jump through, put your arm down. I would recommend though, before we do this, a little practice around this circle for like putting your arm through. What we're gonna do, so we're gonna put our arm through like that and just kind of go around like this. Of course, this has nothing to do with the glitch at all, but it's just to kind of warm up your arms. It's gonna be a bit sketchy because everything's just down from here, but you'll be okay if you're safe. So just come around here, hit the arm, and just kind of climb through the wall right there. Make sure you don't fall down there because then beach will load in. So that's the first part of the glitch. That's how you get the whole beach map not loaded in. And this is a funny thing you can just troll your friends with. Of course, you can see the rocket over there. There's the moon somewhere down there, right there. And so this is the, the fun part, I guess, for the most part. But it's going to get a lot tedious after this. So the next step is going down there across the crystals or in the water getting all the way through that wall just like we were doing here and then getting to stump that's the main part right now so when you so we have to go from up here this platform jump down onto this little one and we have to do this two ways or you can do this two ways you can jump onto that crystal there, or you can head into that water. And I'm going to do both scenarios for you right now. So this is the crystal scenario. This is where you're just going to lightly jump, angle yourself at the crystal. If you feel that you're going to come up short, just reach your arm out and grab it. So once you land on this crystal, the entire beach map will be loaded in, but that's okay. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to go onto this crystal, find this angled crystal, and we're going to jump onto that, and then, up there, jump onto here. And also, don't be nervous about this part, because if you fall down, you just have to restart the glitch again, which I know will suck the first couple times you do it, but you kind of have to deal with it. Or you can just fall into that water. So now, you just hop on here, and hop onto this crystal. So now there's a little rock right there. We're gonna we're gonna try to jump and put our arm right on the rock. So it's gonna be a bit of a trust fall because if you fall too much that way, you'll just fall out of the map. But regularly, once you touch that stone, the forest will spawn in. So watch this. So now we're back to the forest. Here's the second scenario. If you end up jumping and you miss the crystal, you'll land right into this water, okay? Now you have to be careful here, because if you go too far out past this water, you'll fall out of the map. It counts for all corners. And if you go too far in, you'll just glitch back into the wall, and you'll be right where you started. So what we're gonna do is, if you land into the water, just follow this, you know, the square or the rectangle lines, come right over here, and then head to where you can just see right down past the wall and just kind of swim straight over here. We're gonna wait till force loads in, okay? Boom, now force is loaded in. So now that we've got that, we're gonna head over here, back over to this corner. And I'm gonna show you a little trick that you're gonna to need to know, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna get on top of the water and we're just gonna flick our hands very fast. And if you see there, it makes your character jump up a little bit. So after, so once you've kind of mastered that jump, come right over here. 
kind of against this wall, kind of right in line with this little wall right here. And just do that and then reach your arm up really high. And if you did it correctly, you should have your arm stuck in the wall. Now here's the rock we jumped on from up there earlier. And so once we land on this rock, we're just gonna pull our way up here. Now we're just gonna jump with our arm. We're gonna jump twice. And then with these rocks, don't really worry about them. Just slowly make your way through them. Kind of follow the wall line. It's hard to see them with the rocks, but if you just, you know, bear with me here, I'll make it. So this is the hard part right here. This is where we have to glitch the wall because in the game, there's a wall right there and there's a wall right here. And so if we go too far forward, you'll get stuck in the wall. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to, I have a little red dot here. Most players don't have it, but you're going to stretch your head out all the way over so you can see like the rocket and you're gonna, just going to keep pulling your arm across. And if you did it correctly, you should be able to do it without any glitches. Because if you lean too close, your arm will glitch in the wall. As you can see there, there's a wall right there. So now we're just going to come up here, keep going through the wall. I do recommend doing this only in private lobbies. I mean, you can do it in public lobbies, but usually it'll glitch because you kind of need to render in the new lobby most of the time. Once you make it up here on the entrance, you make it past this rough dirt, just jump down and grab this here. And then, this is a pretty easy part, but you gotta be careful, is you just pull your arm and way all the way across the floor, okay? I'm gonna do it a bit slower for the beginners. But, we're gonna see here. It's a bit cool. Feel free to take in the view because it's nice to see forest like this and see out. You can see there's the wind tubes, there's the uh, canyons entrance, city entrance, mountains entrance over there. I can't really see it right now. At this point, your arm might get a little bit tired, but that's okay. Another thing I forgot to mention is don't jump, to, don't jump up because most of the time your body will get stuck in the wall and you'll have to do the whole thing all over again because then you'll just spawn right into forest again. And so that's, that'll suck if you end up doing that. At this point your arm will probably get a bit tired, but it's okay. So this you can do two ways as well, but I preferably do it one certain way that I like the most, okay? What I do is I put... Like I said, my wrist straps are off, so I'm just dangling my controller. I put the wrist strap in my mouth, and then I take the battery out of my right controller out, and then if you're lucky, it'll just drop you down here. So let's do this. I'm gonna put it in my mouth, right there. And then I'm gonna take my controller out. And there you go. So now I'm down here. Now I have to be a bit careful. I do recommend putting your hand down. And then I'm holding my controller here with one hand. But what I want you to do is just put your battery controller back in. And so once you've done that, hopefully, with luck, you'll have it right here. Now if it's still stuck in the wall when you do it, do it a couple more times and eventually it'll kind of glitch out of the wall. But if you did it successfully, you should be standing right here at the edge of the stump. You know, you can look underneath it, see what's up. But that's basically that part. And that's a bit hard at first, but once you've done it a couple times, you'll be able to just get through here. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow the edge of the stump all the way. This part's pretty scary because you don't wanna mess up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna Follow stump. See, I was fell off right there. But we're gonna follow stump all the way to about here. You can see the pathway coming down. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two hands on the bottom of the stump. Now this is a, a pretty sketchy part because you're gonna be kind of dangling off of it. But we're gonna put this hand on the rest of the pathway. Then once you've got a kind of like a firm stance on there, put your other hand on there and kind of lean backwards in real life and avoid getting your head stuck in the pathway. But if 
he did it right, he should be able to be right here. So now what we're going to do is this is kind of a make it break situation where if you do it wrong, you'll get stuck in the stump or if you do it right, you'll be underneath the stump. So I'm going to show you this right now. The way how it works is just what I do is I slowly climb up this part here and then once I get to about ground level, as you can see, you can see the leaderboard down there in caves. I just reach my hand up to the side as well. I reach my hand up to the side, I pull up, and I should, or you should be under here. Try to avoid this massive hole here. It's kind of sketchy, dividing that. So now that you're up here, you feel free to stretch your arms. You have a bit of space down here. Your arm probably gets tired because it's pulling its way all the way across there. Congratulations, now you made it underneath the stump. You can see the moon down there. Notably, you can see the leaderboard down there, and you see it there. That's in caves. So, this is one of the hardest parts of the entire thing, which is actually getting down into the caves. The way it's going to work is we're going to basically do the same thing we were doing, arming our way all the way to about there, and then we're going to go underneath it and go to the other side and then jump up onto that upper part and then we're gonna go as far up as we can before you'll see, have your head turned to the back and you'll see caves load in. Once you see caves load in, just do the same thing we did, but in reverse. So let me demonstrate it. So I'm gonna, this is a pretty big leap jump, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stretch my arm as far out as I can, and I'm gonna get it into that hole right there. Right there. Now, you could hit your head and you might miss it. It doesn't matter, you can keep trying. What I'll say, oh, see, what I'll say though is that right there, if you fall down, you have the risk of falling down this hole. And if you fall down, you're done. You have to do the whole thing all over again. What I recommend doing is whenever you fall, stretch this arm out as far out as you can so you can grab it. So there is a second way you can do this without taking your left or right battery controller out. This is what I call the arm struggle way, which is going to make your arm hurt because of how much you have to kind of bend your head down. But you get over here, right in line with the stump, and just put your head underneath it, and kind of just pull your way across it. You know, do this pretty slowly at first, but to make your way over to here, right where the pathway is, <laughs> you kind of low down and put your head right here. And if you're lucky, you should have had both your hands in, down here right now. It's so we're going to do what we just did last time. Just hit this area. Come down here. Over here. So we're going to hit ourselves up here. And then we're going to grab the bottom of this pathway and we're going to pull ourselves up here. This is a really glitchy part of the whole thing, but you're going to have to deal with it. So once we get to about right here at the edge, we're going to go, what I like to do, underneath here. Cross over and get to this side. And we're just going to jump up and grab it. Now this is the part where we have to wait for, we have to wait for caves to load in. So we're just going to kind of... I do is I just kind of go all the way up here and I kind of just back down and kind of hug myself as close to this wall as I can and most of the time if I'm lucky once I get to about around over here right there it loads in so as you can see it's caved right there so now what I like to do is I jump down I go underneath it again and I come down here. Now, fair warning, when you do this, when you jump down from this corner right here, you will freeze. Don't panic, just let the game run. As you can see, I'm frozen. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep my arms stuck out. And I'm just gonna wait. Don't feel like, don't press your Oculus button. 
Don't do anything. Just wait. Eventually, it'll drop you down, and you'll be okay. All right? Boom. Like that. It'll just drop you down. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to come down here, all the way down this pathway. And we're going to find this pile of rocks. What I do, I jump onto here, through here, and then roughly onto here. Then I just reach my arm through and pull myself turn around and pull both my arms through and there you go we've made it down to cave successfully and that's how you do it in the best way i could show you that is the way to get down here i hope you guys enjoyed the video um feel free to subscribe if you liked it join my discord server i have in the link and there you go you're in caves go around jump around teach your friends how to do it so you all can play crates again and if you want to get into mines just come to this entrance jump down and here we go we're on mines so feel free to do this because this will be like one of the last times you'll ever see it probably like this because a new cave update coming out but it doesn't matter now we have successfully gotten down here so like i said hope you guys enjoyed subscribe to the discord like the video Leave a comment if you really want to. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.